Okay, so I've already done this video. I did this yesterday and I decided to redo it because I wasn't real happy with the way that it turned out. Okay, so I just got these molds. Um, this one and it came in a two pack and this one on Amazon. Okay, and they're pretty good size as you can see. Big. <laughs> so I was really excited about it. But when I made this one, um, here's the result of this one, which came out like this. And he's okay. I made him kind of orange and I put uh, some white, just mixed a bit of white cast and craft. I didn't even really stir it up. I just kind of blended it together. I painted just a little bit of white mica powder on the inside uh, to give it kind of that metallic patches kind of like you know you see some goldfish or koi have that and then I filled it with clear with clear resin so he's partially translucent and partially not and um, painted his eyes from the inside but I did have a problem with his fins uh, here and here on both sides the resin did not get inside the mold okay so now he looks just kind of funny with no um, with no fins, kind of pitiful actually. So I decided just to redo it, okay? And I'm going to change it up a little bit today. So I'm gonna set this aside. Um, one thing I did do is I traced out the fish here on this little piece of holographic film because I'm going to incorporate this into my um, project today. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is, let's see here get the little piece of speck out of my mold. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> and um, I think that was it. And I've got a little cutoff cup here. I am gonna go ahead and paint the eyes like I did before. So the eyes are in here. As you can see, they're actually not too hard to reach. Okay, they're just like right on the inside and they are um, kind of in a hole there where they're easy to get to. They're easy to get to, but it's also easy to um, get resin where you don't want it. So I'm just gonna clean that up real quick. Just a bit of um, alcohol here on this paper towel and it just comes right off. Okay, there we go. They look pretty good now, okay. You see his eyes are just painted with the paint pen in there on both sides. And you can see it up through here <laughs> on both both the sides there. So, um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to remember how much resin this took. Gosh, I'm thinking it takes about, I'm just, gosh, if I can remember right, maybe I'm gonna guess three to four ounces. I'm gonna probably say maybe four ounces just to play it safe. So I'm gonna pour four ounces in this cup. Okay, that's about four. That might not be quite enough, but it's gonna be close. Okay, so, and then what I wanna do is I'm gonna add just, this time, just a, like one drop of orange. I want it to be really, really faint, almost translucent, but just a hint of orange. This did a pretty good job. It's not very dark at all. And of course I put my wooden popsicle stick in there so I had no bubbles and now I do have some bubbles. <laughs> I like to use silicone and I didn't, wasn't even thinking and just stuck that popsicle stick right in there. But you can see here just really a light, light, light orange. I'm going to put a bit of alcohol in there. I mean, it is a goldfish. If I get a few bubbles in there, I guess it's not too big of a deal. Um, let's see, another thing I wanted to do is I'm gonna add just a couple of these. And usually when I say a couple, I end up doing way too much, okay? But not this time. This time I am gonna use my tweezers and literally just put a little pinch in there, maybe two tiny pinches. Otherwise, what's the point? Right? Okay, there, that's it. Not very much at all. 
and I'm going to grab my other stick here to stir. Okay, so now while that's sitting there, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my little fish thing here. I just can barely see it. I did it in pencil. And I'm going to just do this real quick. Okay, that's going to be just about right. Just about like that. Now I'm going to spray some alcohol in here this time and see if I can get over here where those fins are. They're way up here at the top, if you can see in here. Uh, there's they're really not very not very much room to get in there. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get how to make sure I've got how I've got that going in there. I don't want to get the alcohol onto my eyes that I just got painted because that will take it right off of there. Okay, so then I'm gonna drain it back down this way down through the tail. Okay, so there is that. Now, I'm going to start with the head and then I'm going to try to get a little bit of that. I'm gonna to try to get this in to those fins before I get going very far, okay? I'm just gonna tilt it up here, we'll stretch it out. Because once this is full, it's too late. You can't, you can't really get in there anymore, okay? side. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. Keep pouring into the head. And I'm getting closer to those fins now so I can kind of make sure they get to where the resin gets in there. Yeah, this part, this top part of the mold is actually not very flexible at all. So it's not like you can just, you know, pinch it and make it go in. It's really, really not like that. Okay, so it's kind of in that side, kind of. Let's see if I can keep going. Okay, so that was about four ounces and that wasn't quite enough. So I'm going to need a bit more here. Okay, so that's about another, okay, that's about another ounce and a half. So we'll see what that does. I'm going to do just one. Another little bit of orange. Okay, this is just regular ink. It's not alcohol ink. Just off of Amazon there, pigment colors. So now I see I've got bubbles in these fins. Okay, so it looks like I, I went ahead and I squeeze the sides here and I can see the bubbles through the translucent part of the of the um, 
of the mold. <laughs> and um, so I was able to squeeze those out on these two. These two, I can kind of see into this bin. I can't see it all into this bin, really. So I'm not sure if it worked or not. I tried to like scoot it in there and I'm trying to pinch it, but it's so such a firm part of the mold. It's not very pinchable, but I do see some bubbles coming out. So that might be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this mold. I just don't want it to be, you know, kind of a pain every time I, I want to make one of these. Okay, I see a little bit here in the fin. I need to finish off. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this insert in. I'm going to take off my gloves for this. And I'm going to actually give it a quick clean because it's kind of messy. Let's go over it real quick. I shouldn't have had it sitting right here by all of my stuff I had going on. But this helps get the pencil mark off too. Okay. Let's see if I can peel this. Okay, so here it goes. I'm going to put, I'm going to have the sticky side up for a change because the last time I used this holographic film, I put the sticky side down and I feel like it worked better with the sticky side up. So, okay, that's going to go in there pretty well, I think. Now, I'm going to just spray my stick here with some alcohol and then kind of help it get down inside of here. Gonna be a little bit puckered. I don't really care about that. Just want it to be down inside of the mold. There we go. Don't see any bubbles under there. Got just a tiny bit of the orange. Okay, this should help give this a little bit of depth from the inside, and I don't see any of it sticking up further than the mold itself, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to give it a quick spray of alcohol, and then we're going to let it cure, and I'm going to just make sure that this part here stays down. Right now it looks like it's poking up, but it's actually not. There's probably, I don't know, about maybe an eighth of an inch between the top of this holographic film and the bottom of the coaster. I mean, the, the coaster, bottom of the mold. So we're good there. And yeah, okay, I'm excited to see how this one turns out. I think that um, it might hopefully turn out better and we should be able to get the fins on it. Okay. I will see you guys all when this is done. See you then. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and our fish is completely cured. And, yeah, I'm ready to take this out and see how it compares to this one that I had done before. Hoping this one turns out a little bit better. But uh, we will see how it does. It's um, been a few hours, but my room was pretty warm. And like I said, I'm here in Arizona, so cold temperatures are not a problem right now for us. It's been pretty warm out. Oh my gosh, look. We, I know we have at least one fin. And there's another fin. Yay! That's already a success. Uh-oh. I don't want to bend them off all the way. There's another fin. One little bubble at the end, it looks like. And another fin. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This turned out... A little bit better. Let me see if I can get the head out of here. There we go. Okay, so this is pretty easy to demold, really, considering I didn't have to use any water or alcohol or anything. So I'm really, really hopeful that this is going to be kind of a pretty, kind of a prettier, um, a prettier project than how this one turned out. Okay. So I'm ready to turn this over and see how it looks. 
oh my gosh, actually, yeah, this is kind of a lot more of what I had in mind. This turned out really pretty. What do you guys think? So the, um, that holographic paper or the holographic film, it really just had like the, it was the glitter effect kind. Um, you can see it pretty well in here in the bottom. And it did come through the tail. So that's pretty, you don't really see it a whole lot coming up through the body, probably because we had the orange in there. We did get a little bit of those holographic flakes that uh, floated down, just a little bit there in the back. And the eyes turned out just great. And oh my gosh, yeah, I mean really the only little bit of a bubble we have is just that tiny, that tiny little piece here. Do you see? But, the, oh, no, I guess right here too. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a bubble on both fins. Yeah, actually, no, this one didn't even have a bubble. I guess that's what happens when I don't put my glasses on, huh? It's just on this side. But gosh, this turned out really pretty. I love the translucency of it. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It definitely looks orange. It's nice and big. And compared to this one with no fins, and it just looked kind of wonky, um, I think it turned out really pretty. I really hope that you guys enjoyed making this fish with me. And um, gosh, let me know if you give it a try. I'm excited to try this other one here too, which I'll be doing um, probably sometime this week or maybe this weekend. And I'm um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that one yet, but I'm really loving this little goldfish. And I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for joining me. I will post a link to these fish molds in the description. And uh, yeah, really loving it. Actually, I could see maybe doing a pair, you know, could do a little pair, some of, uh, you know, somehow. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think. All right, thanks everyone. I will see you all next time.